The Galaxy Watch has been on my wrist for the last several weeks now. Well, at least when it's not charging. I've explored its features and functions, and I feel like it's time to give you my final review. When I first took the watch out of the box, I was impressed at how it felt. It's a weighted little timepiece, and it feels super comfortable and balanced on my wrist. The rotating bezel has a satisfyingly firm click, and it's one of my favorite features. The single speaker is incredibly loud. It's a little tinny, but hey, it's a speaker on a watch. The wrist straps that come with it are soft and comfortable, and the screen is colorful and bright and outdoors. The always-on display is a great feature to have if you need it, but I've noticed that the battery does drain a little faster than I would prefer. I'm guessing if you use this option, you'll lose about a third of a day in battery. I don't mind having this disabled, as it keeps me from wanting to check the time constantly, especially those last 60 minutes at work, which seem to drag on forever. When I'm at the gym, I use it as my workout companion, tracking my heart rate, sets, and reps. This is a great tool for those looking to get into shape and track their health-related activities. I like the hourly notifications to get up and move. It lets me know how lazy I can get when I'm working or laying around watching YouTube videos. Speaking of notifications, I like how they pop up and provide quick information. This lets me know if it's worth picking up on my phone to respond to. They can be deleted individually by swiping up or all together when rotating the bezel all the way to the left and pressing delete all. The operating system is buttery smooth. When navigating through menus, the watch keeps up, and in my time using it, rarely stuttered or lagged in the process. The Tizen OS is miles ahead of Android Wear, at least for now. I initially had the 46mm version but returned it. It just felt a bit too bulky. I'm glad I did. The Midnight Black 42mm watch is a perfect size for me and I feel confident that I won't have to worry about accidentally smashing it against something like a brick wall. I knew I'd be sacrificing battery life, however I routinely charge it every couple of days, so the battery life for me wasn't a deal breaker. To be honest, both sizes have excellent battery life. I'm speaking solely about the Bluetooth version as I was not able to test the LTE edition, which I heard is a battery killer. Safe to say that getting the Bluetooth only watch will definitely get you through two days and that's even wearing it overnight. Be sure to put it in good night mode before you shut your eyes though. This will help you push the battery life to three days and beyond. So, almost everything about this watch makes it the ultimate timekeeping, health tracking, notification glancing, do it all from your wrist device. I say almost everything because Samsung still has a couple of areas where it can improve upon to make this the best smartwatch out, period. First, the screen resolution. Now I went on a rant on a previous video discussing the PPI density and got railed for it. Look, I'm not saying this is a terrible display by any means. It's an incredibly bright, stunningly saturated colorful display, but Samsung is the leader in display technology, and I was hoping they would bump up the screen resolution with this update to at least 340 PPI or above, and they didn't. To me, I was a little disappointed that they decided to go with the exact resolution of the now two-year-old Gear S3. Samsung, please bump up the resolution in the Galaxy Watch 2. Thank you. Another gripe I have is the lack of third-party support from Google. See, I use Google Maps, Google Play Music, and Google Assistant on my phone, and I would love to see Google provide support for these applications on the watch as well. That would make this a truly smarter smartwatch. Lastly is Bixby. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about Bixby. Some days it works great, other days not so much. A month in and Bixby is still just a meh experience. Maybe one day we'll be able to have a great relationship, but as of now, it's a little touch and go. And that's it. Just some minor issues that I personally have. The truth is, the Galaxy Watch is incredible for what it can do in such a small package. I'm impressed with its long lasting battery life, super smooth operating system, the thousands of watch faces and endless customization. It's one of the best smart watches out period. And if you don't own a Galaxy Watch and you're on the fence, I said go pick one up and give it a try. I think you'll love it just as much as I do. And if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button below. I'll have more content coming out. Really trying to grow this channel, so I appreciate y'all's support. Hit that like button if you like this video. Let me know in the comments section below. Have you picked this watch up? Do you love this watch? Give me y'all's little mini review. If you haven't picked it up and you're on the fence, let me know what's keeping you from picking this up. Again, this is Tech Jungle. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.